it on the stucco of the house. That's We can't go any higher than that right there. We have to stay one and a half inches below and have run coming this way. So all that has to come out, like I said, and we're gonna we're gonna just adjust the plan in that, in that way. There'll have to be a separation between the wall and it's gonna have to be tapered down. You can feel the same with decorative plants, but this is gonna be separated and it's gonna be rised up and it's gonna be flat, but obviously it's gonna be down lower, like somewhere right here. And that's gonna, since this is gonna be so high, you're gonna need some kind of little railway around it right here. Like a little, the little see-through glass ones or whatever, you know what I mean? To encase this section right here. That's pretty much it. All right, so one thing for certain here at All Access Construction, there's no pride to ego. If someone has a better idea to make the plan work, that's what we rolling with. Hope everyone's doing well, staying positive. This is the second video. I'm kind of in the zone, cranking them out. Probably got three more in the next couple days coming out. So definitely guys, appreciate you guys' patience on us getting them out. We are extremely busy, a little behind, trying to catch up. Got new work coming up. But we're trying to get out of this project here this is a modern landscape project we've got about three videos i'll leave those links down below you guys can check them out i'm gonna let the video play out jump in and out on the narrative if you guys have any questions let me know of course you know i answer right away other than that sit back relax enjoy the video let me know what you think and we'll go from there if this is your first time checking this out Welcome, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the like button, it definitely helps us out. This dug up right here and this goes down to the bottom. This is ready to go right here so I can bring base rock on all here and compact two inches of base rock all the way down. This is sort of working this way. Oh, yeah, but there's a lot of stuff over there. It's just one board. This has all the design. Over there is just one board stick up. This has all the stuff. Now, now look at where I got to move it. Look. Now. Why would they go? Where? This is funny. Look. Look at how much detail is over here. You don't want to see it. <laughs> Well, look at all the stuff I got to figure out. Now I got to do the squares. Now I got to take this from this level down now and bring it and start working my way down. That's all ready for rebar. Once I put these, once I put these two steps in here, and I put these other steps in here, then we can start working. Well, there's a lot, but that's only because this ain't been this didn't this. Let me smoke that But we're gonna move. I told them at one o'clock we start flat, flat. Everybody start at one o'clock. We took a break at twelve fifteen. Got here at eight. Everybody, mostly eight ten. Huh? Eight fifteen. So that's why we took a break at four fifteen. And then we got to because this is this has to be determined. This has to be closed up. This has to be ready for base rock and and, and, they, and all this whole section has to be done. This whole section will we're gonna try to get this done, but this has to be done sooner than later. Are you trying to put the steps in here now too? No, I'm trying to now I'm trying to have them finish this. It's gonna take them about another hour or two people to do this. So maybe less than an hour, about 45 minutes. To get this to get this dug out and give me a footing right here. Because this has to be hidden below. So when they do planning and they backfill, this shit don't look like it's loaded. As soon as this is closed up, then I can take off all these lines. I'm just gonna set up everything right here and this is all set up ready to go. But while they're doing that. I'm going to start doing all this. I'm going to work my way. This is pretty much set. I'm not even going to worry about that line right there yet. I mean, this is the other piece of 2 12 that I brought. I'm going to have them put that uh, on the bottom right there. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to start doing all this. And frame it with two by two.
So this pour had two different colors. We had a light gray and a dark gray. The dark gray is on the bottom, which is the basketball court. Here is just a raised patio. A lot of thought process went into making this function with the rest of the yard here. I wanna give a shout out to the guys for making that happen here. So we had the first truck come, which was about nine yards for this raised patio. And we got some concrete squares or pavers as they're called down on the bottom. We did that at a light grade about 1030. We had the next truck come um, and we poured the dark gray. So I'm gonna show another video of that basketball court here, but this is just pretty much us pouring the upper part, which we call the raised patio. Probably most crews would have did this in two separate pours on two separate day, but this is where experience came in and we made it happen on one day. So that first truck was nine yards. That second truck was five yards. We got out of there about two o'clock. So I am going to have another video of us pouring what we call the basketball court down below. So be on the lookout for that. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, so you can be notified when that come out, which is probably going to be in the next day or two. And be sure to hit that like button while you're down there. Definitely gonna want to stick around to the end. We got some good pictures of the broom finish, what we did here. Um, got probably five or six of them, so you want to check that out. And also, we got a snippet of the next video that's gonna come out, so be sure to check that out. And like I said, I greatly appreciate you guys patient on us getting these videos out. Got more coming. This is the second one today. I'm probably gonna have two or three more tomorrow. Yeah, we're just going to keep this content coming. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Any questions, leave down below. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate you guys sticking around to the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. Leave any comments below. If you got any questions, you can leave those down below as well. Now, you know, if you're in the Sacramento, San Francisco Bay Area, you can hit us up. All our information is below. Everyone else around the world, especially my guys down there in Australia, for some reason you guys are killing it on our algorithm here. You're about at about 14%. I definitely appreciate you guys. That being said, hang around people that are positive. It's cool to ask for help. Catch you on the next one. Grab this row of um, pebbles that goes on this side right here. Okay. Because it's right under the basketball court.